Good morning, traders, and welcome to the Bookmap Live Trading Webinar. Uh, this, uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, I'm sorry, Monday, Tuesdays, Fridays, uh, we do the live forward-looking analysis, 10 a.m. Uh, we go for about an hour to an hour and a half, and uh, we're going to go through uh, in depth uh, the order flow uh, so that uh, it, it'll be current market, and uh, we're going to give some insight to where we think price is going to move next based on our reading of the order flow. Uh, that matches our uh, educational course that's online. This is all free. So uh, you're, you're getting a pretty, pretty nice value here as well as uh, JTrader, a stocks trader on Wednesday uh, at 10 a.m. and Scott Polsini, a futures trader, trader on Thursday at 10 a.m. So you can see other traders as well how they are reading the order flow and their specific setups. Uh, so tune in at 10 a.m. Uh, here in the Discord channel. Uh, this is a, a pr pretty nice, uh, pretty nice thing that you're getting here. Uh, all right, let's go through some disclosures, and then we're going to jump right into the market. Uh, general disclosure: all Bookmap Limited materials, information, and presentations are for educational purposes only, and should not be considered specific investment advice nor recommendations. Risk disclosure: trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. This is not a trading room. This is a, a, an order flow reading room in real time, uh, forward looking. So uh, not hindsight because we uh, uh, we want to learn uh, uh, how to read the order flow uh, and then apply it to the way that you trade. Okay, so let's jump in. Let's take a look here. We're going to look at the S&P and I don't have any data. Okay, uh, I don't know about you guys. Uh, also for um, rhythmic, it looks like here. Uh, no data. Okay, so we can try DX feed. Working for you? Okay. Thanks, David. This is weird. Hmm. Okay, waiting. Well, this is too bad. I'm going to have to restart Bookmap. All right. Well, let's try that. So that's that's a pity because we're going to lose our uh, uh, MBO data here. Um, and we have our, where's my rhythmic? Hold on. Ah, this is why. It failed. Hold on a minute, guys. Sorry about this. We're ready to jump in. Rhythmic is, is excellent data. Um, uh, it's just... Uh, let's try this again here. U.S. East, U.S. East. Okay, it should be it should be fine. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the volatility, uh, yeah, is gonna gonna affect uh, some of it here. Um, hmm. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, good morning, Alec. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, David. Uh, just changing servers here. Good morning, Chris. Yeah, let's try that. So it was up and running just beautifully. So th you can see, like, uh, th I mean, maybe this is a good, good uh, exercise here. Uh, it, you know, try different servers. Uh, and uh, and see you know uh, like last week for some reason it was connecting to Seoul uh, out of all all places um, so I'm gonna go with Chicago area here uh, and let's see if I can get uh, something a little bit better okay 
Oh, oh, beautiful. All right, we're set. Okay. Well, anyway, we don't have uh, the MBO data until starting right now, which is a pity, but uh, that's okay. We'll be up and running here and looking at some uh, some backfill data in the S&P. We can also look at some stocks if you guys like, or uh, uh, also cryptocurrencies. Beautiful. Okay. Okay, just waiting for a little bit of backfill data. So when you start a book map, you'll see this uh, this little divide right here. Uh, and you'll see it a little bit better in just a minute here when we get more data in here. And this is where you can add backfill data. Now, if you guys are interested in, see, so you'll, you'll see a little just right here. This is where I started my book map. And you can see the MBO data here, down here in the, in the subchart, like stops and icebergs here. Uh, and then you'll see the rest of this data fill in here. So everything to, you know, the left of this little area here is going to be the backfill data. Uh, and you guys can get um, more backfill data. It, you have to subscribe to it from DX feed. See, see the little uh, uh, break here? That's what's going on here, right? So this is all backfill data to the left of this area here. Uh, and then everything to the right is uh, MBO data from Rhythmic. Okay. All right, so the backfill data is lighter. Uh, it is not as accurate. Uh, it is pretty close. Uh, it is just, it's aggregated uh, a bit though. So um, uh, it's still pretty, pretty good quality, uh, but uh, the, uh, due to, you know, the um, uh, bids and offers in, in, in the aggregation in there, um, the backfill data is gonna not be as high quality and that strips away the MBO. Right. If you had to wait for the MBO data to download, it would take a long time, and that's why we do it. All right. So otherwise, it'd be great to have MBO data for the entire time. Right. It just it's just too much. Uh, okay. Let's take a look here and see what's going on. Uh, we can see. Let me add in more here. Um, pretty choppy in here, and I don't want to put that much in. I think we can put in maybe six hours. Let's put in twelve. All right. All right, so interesting structure here, really back and forth after the cash open. It's up, it's down, it's it's up, it's, it's down, new lows, new highs, and then new lows again, and right back up. So I'm just going to pose a question right off the bat from this cash session in here. Uh, who do you guys think is in control in this market right now? Sellers, and, and then why do you guys think sellers? Higher time frame, yeah. Yeah, we'll take a quick look at the higher time frame as well. Um, and um, here we go. Yeah, so higher time frame, I would agree with you. Like sellers from this point on, J just in just from this what we have here from you know the uh, uh, European session here, uh, you know this is where sellers really took control. But it, it's really, it, it in my mind like you know I see a lot of buying coming in here too, and then I just see a lot of back and forth in here. Uh, so just w what we look for in in terms of who's in control is the dominant force that move price away from an area and then it stayed away from that area right uh, we're getting retest back to it but it has not broken the structure so then in this case we would say sellers are in control from this point on uh, but uh, you know from this time frame right in here after 7 a.m east coast time buyers took control so this is how we start to mark up these areas in different time frames so sellers in control from here uh, a lot of consolidation down here uh, and uh, and then buyers come roaring back in, but they're still not uh, able to kind of shake the sellers yet. Okay, so uh, that's what we're kind of looking at here uh, in uh, in those time frames, right? And then for the current time frame or current market activity, it is all over the place. I mean, like buyers, uh, you know, they're out of control right here. Sellers try to take it away. We went over this in detail 
uh, the other day in, in choppy markets. Um, and, um, uh, you know, we're, we're, you see where buyers took control, and this is where they're really tested. And then look at this. Buyers try to take control again, and then they're they're tested and stopped out. Like, you know, here's here are the sellers come roaring back in. And then down here, a little bit of chop, and then buyers come in again and again, a couple, couple legs here. <laughs> and then sellers take it all the way back to new lows. Okay. Uh, even in here, you see consolidation and then a drop. I mean, they're just testing each other. Uh, it, it's coming back to this area here. Uh, here's where buyers took control in this small time frame, and now they're getting put to the test, okay, and getting stopped out. Uh, so uh, uh, it's really all over the place. Uh, I, I, I hope. Let me know if you have any questions about that. We're, what we're looking at is the strength of the move uh, and the dominant um, uh, aggressor, uh, and then the structure, like the swings, the highs and the lows. And that's what's giving us some insight here. And and now we're getting a lot more clarity. Like, you know, like th they've dropped it to new lows here again. So sellers are in control from this point on. Okay. You, you really, it's actually way up here. But I, I like this little area of consolid, just a little consolidation here, and then they dropped it. So if buyers are going to come in, and we would assume buyers would come in based on this environment, this is where they're going. Right back to 95 here. Okay. Now, the one thing that we have to be tricky or careful about here, and, and we saw this on Friday, and I do want to go through a little bit of that on Friday. We saw some great stuff, I thought, uh, and then the trending move took place uh, as well uh, uh, later in, in the session. Uh, so um, uh, this uh, looks like that trending move. It potentially could be that trending move here. Uh, just because, and we, and we just need to be open to that in the order flow. Uh, because they were not even didn't even come close to making a, a, a higher high here or even an equal high right so sellers are, are really in control from this point uh, you know more in control I would say uh, from this point so uh, uh, anyway uh, you know buyers are going to test it uh, but uh, you know we're we're really seeing some some pretty big wide uh, swings here uh, and uh, yeah I would I would look for these these buyers to try to reach right back up into these areas up here. Uh, maybe, maybe even here there's a little more volume there. You can see a vo low volume node here. So just because of this structure and where they broke out from, I would be looking for the test back to that or this. So let's just try to quickly mark up a zone here. It's this little zone here from here to here. Okay. So 92 to 95 or so. And it's getting there. It's getting there. Still looking for it. Um, and uh, uh, just, just based on the structure, we're looking for it. Uh, and 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 the action uh, between the uh, buyers and sellers so far. Uh, Forty-four oh three is your under over. Okay, so way up here. All right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'm looking for the test here, and like you know, I, I guess what you mean by under over. I mean, I know a lot of people refer to under over. Uh, I, I call it like a, a pivot um, and uh, look, looking to see if we can get, you know, the buyers up over that area. If we don't, we're going to see the sellers and we're, I'd be looking for the trend continuation here. Um, but uh, yeah, we're still looking for these buyers. Let's take a quick look in here. I, I do want to like zoom out and I do want to review a little bit on Friday, but I want to see these buyers come back up into this zone here. Okay, so we get a little bit of skew in the order book here. Uh, they're down here. They're, they want to buy at a higher level here. Okay, at 82, 82.50. All right, and then here we go. Now here's here's where the see them pull here and look at buyers come in and here's our skew in the book. So looking for the move now, right? Looking for the move up in our 92, 95 zone now. Right, that was quick, but they, they were doing it and and it was this this liquidity in here that came into the book with along with these buyers here, and them pulling. So we're looking for that that quick move now up into our 92.95 area here. So 90, 92.50 or kind of where we you know drew this here, um, that would be the first uh, stop. Okay, and we talked about this too about you know starting to wrap a strategy or you know trading strategies around some of these order flow readings, uh, and uh, there's many different ways to do that, and we can cover a few. Uh, you know, one one would be to you could place a buy stop up here uh, and uh, go into the market. You can just hit market buy uh, once you start to see that edge, uh, and then you'd quickly you know look to to reduce that risk. 
uh, and uh, achieve your your minimum target uh, and uh, consider like maybe that's just a small trade it's counter trend okay we know that so maybe on counter trend trades just get out right just uh, uh, you're not looking for anything more than that and uh, you're looking actually for the bigger move but uh, maybe you want to just you see an opportunity to go for it uh, and get that counter trend trade uh, and you know scalp maybe uh, you know four or five points out of the out of the s p here okay so you can even see look at the retest here back to where it broke from here this is a little tricky here because um, uh, it's below this little swing so it, you know it looks like try to dupe some sellers in here and then pull away quickly uh, up to that 92 and a half and our to 95 area here okay so it's just just reaching our uh, our first target right there uh, and uh, yeah uh, you know I, it, you'll have to study it your trade management you'll have to go through it like that that's up to you uh, there's so many different ways to trade and what your risk tolerance is what you're comfortable with how much size you have that you want to trade what is your time frame all of these are massive massive uh, 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 distinctions here um, uh, for or you know uh, elements here to determine how how you want to you manage your risk and okay, we just went through four or five different ways okay so uh, uh, anyway um, yeah look into it uh, you know like if it's a counter trend trade in a, in a downtrending move take your profits then you know I mean you can consider something like that these are it's not financial advice we don't give that here uh, we're going through order flow right and I just want to address that uh, the way that you might consider uh, using it all right so anyway that's our first test and then we're gonna uh, look for are we gonna continue a little bit higher or are we gonna see sellers come roaring right back in and we're, we're starting to find our sellers already yeah see if they can push it down to 85 here or are we gonna get one more push back up into our 95 ish area here nice stop run there the book is thin the book yeah it, it is uh bowie it is it is uh funny to see the book like this uh in the s p but hey hey i mean like for us this is great you know uh, you can trade the, the S and P like an, like the Nasdaq, uh, and look for these quick moves and like scalp four or five points. I mean, like boy, you'd be waiting all day for for that. Like you know, some months ago, you know, you'd be looking for scalping try to one and a half to two uh, uh, points. Uh, here, you, you know, heck, it was like what here breakout was eighty seven on up to like ninety two, uh, ninety three. There's our move. There's our move, guys. And huge stop run. All right, so let's watch this here. Now, this is what we have. Stop run up into this area. Um, and uh, we, we uh, uh, know that the sellers are in control. Okay. Now, th this is uh, after that stop run, we, we, uh, we see new buying coming in here. Okay. So we know that too. So this is uh, kind of interesting. I was not an anticipating that. I was anticipating the sellers to come in right after this stop run here and get everyone, you know, uh, stopped out uh, and then uh, looking for sellers to come in. Okay, we're up at 4,400, the figure. Okay, retest right to it. Okay, and this swing up here now too. Okay, now let's see if we get our sellers now. Now here's what I'm looking for in, in terms of sellers. This is what we covered also on Friday. And I'm going through this quickly. Uh, and and I, will, I will get to um, uh, more of it here. But uh, uh, here's our stop run in here. Okay, this in here, these aren't really, this is like new buying coming in because it's not stops. So if we can get, now this might be the fuel to the fire to the downside. So then our pivot is somewhere around in here, basically, you know, uh, 90, our 92 and a half area where we just kind of we're looking for that as the first target. So we're looking to see if we get sellers down below that area here uh, and then get the trending move. Uh, CBD is barely. 
C CVD is um, we can we can cover some CVD strategies uh, as well, uh, uh, Lewis. But um, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, we 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 can we can take a look at some CVD uh, as well. I, I just think that the stops and icebergs is just giving us more clarity uh, than cumulative volume delta. And cumulative volume delta, we can also just read it in here. You know, we know that it, it, it it's uh, we're, you're going to see CVD buy uh, uh, just to the upside here. You're just looking at divergence. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're we're going to see we, we can start to look at the the chart and 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 start to understand divergences, etc. Uh, like buying up here, and then like there's going to be some. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be much divergence in here because there's some some more buying in here. But when you start getting up here and you don't see this kind of buying in here, we're going to get divergence. Uh, and uh, and then. You know, we're we're looking for maybe some exhaustion, some sellers start to come in, uh, and then the move lower. So here 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 we are. We're down below our 9250 here. Okay, so looking for sellers now to try to take this. If we're going to get that trend continuation, uh, and we're looking for them to uh, really push it uh, down below here. Okay, so that's the the primary scenario here. Okay, and not looking too good at the moment. We're looking for, I see some buyers here, so I'll probably shoot up again one more time up here to 4,400. 150 icebergs transacted up here, and there's still more. Uh, they're still in the order book here in the live market. Yeah, buyer, buyers are kind of struggling here, right? We've seen this one a million times. Like, they, they, they're not making higher highs, so watch the sellers come in now. Yeah, here we go. All right, so looking for these sellers to try to move it. Okay, now be careful here. We want to be really careful. We're looking for sellers. Okay, and this is not much. I mean, the selling looks good, but it's not much of a move. There we go. Now they're going to break it. Now let's see. let's see if we can get a continuation here. Now we just need to be really careful here. Uh, this is what was was, was so trappy uh, on Friday until it started trending. But yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's worth like uh, you know uh, if we if we zoom out and look at kind of the bigger picture here, right? We're starting to trend. Uh, th th it's this here that gave us some insight. Okay, and the, and a heavy selling coming in. So we're looking for trend continuation at this point. All right, we were looking for a pullback. We got it. It even went more uh, to the figure here, and then now, now we're looking for you know trend continuation here. So sell side below our 9250 area here, and just have to be really kind of careful in here. And that's trading. I mean, you know, you you got to take the risk. Uh, it's it's part of the game. Uh, ways that you can do this is like, I mean, it can be f very frustrating, but, uh, uh, you know, you get in here and you, you have a tight stop. Uh, try to take a little bit of profit and give yourself a little bit of breathing room. Or you just wait for a, a much cleaner setup, right? Because this is not very clean in here, right? And that this can happen to you. Uh, is exactly what we're talking about here. So they're going to try to go for this 4,400, I think, one more time here. Right? This is false advertising here uh, underneath uh, that 9250, trying to get people to go short and then get the squeeze going here. Yeah, I mean, I, I find that kind of ways to manage these things is just like, just, you know, get out. Let it, let us do it, its thing. Or you, you, if you see something good and you, and you know this, like then you can even reverse and, and look for, uh, you know, maybe coming up to these swings or, or this liquidity here. Uh, after a stop run too, I want to, I want to see these guys get stopped out uh, before. I want to see stop run to stop run basically.
yeah yeah so a nice 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 proper fight going on right now yeah exactly uh this choppy environment here here and then here nice little you know take control above it and our line was back here And here they go hit it and let's see this guy wants to get wants to get filled here let's see how much let's see how much of an iceberg this guy has here 150 is not bad but he just got filled up here and there's looks like there's a couple icebergs up there see the slash two that means there's two different icebergs there and, and in the current market there's still two we can take a look at it they're at the same price level. Yeah. All right, here we go. Okay. So we had to do that. We have to get right back down. Now sellers are going to take it. Let's, they should be able to take it now all the way down uh, to the 43.75. That's the primary scenario here uh, to hit this liquidity. Okay, so they had to one more little jag up here, and then and then sellers come in one more time here, and they should now they should be able to move it now. The, the bid looks pretty strong in here. They're bidding up. Uh, I'm still looking for for these guys to kind of pull on the bid here, uh, and looking for these sellers to try to push it down into this liquidity at this point, though. Okay, sellers, let's see it. Here we go, second leg, and let's see the push. Another thing we're going to look at here, because this is really, you know, there we go. There, here they come, All right? I want to look at some other correlated markets, though, because the bid is kind of strong here. Um, it's interesting to see that. Okay, there's our stop run, 226. Not bad. Not bad. It's not like this 849, though. Um, but, uh, you know, it, that's where you'll see a lot of... A lot of um, uh, I think, you know, algos or, you know, traders like, uh, you know, get in back up above that stop run uh, and try to get one more kind of push here to the upside. But anyway, primary scenario is still, still to the downside, regardless of the stop run. Okay, until we see something different. Let's see it, sellers. Let's see it right here. And let's see the push. Nope. All right, so sellers below this would be would be nice to see right here, at this uh, 81, 4381. Okay, looking for that. We can even zoom in and look at a little bit lower time frame here. Sellers below here, and then the push down to 82 or 81. You know, something like that as well. I mean, there's all sorts of ways to pick this apart and, and, and trade it. You know, look at a small, much smaller time frame. Just look, look for the move down here, and then you can take some profit. There you go. But we're looking for a bigger move here. 
you know we're looking for because we don't know right like these these little moves are pretty high probability i i, I feel when, when they when we get something out of it it looks it looks pretty good um but for the bigger move we're looking for the move down below the 82 or 81 here right that's where we just need to see the size uh, and they really need to come in now. They, it just takes a couple rotations here. Let's see if we get it on this rotation here. Looking for the sellers here. Looking for the drop. And let's see if we get it. We should get it here. We should be able to get it by now. Anyway, that, that makes sense that uh, like we're talking about the, um, uh, I mean, you, you know, you, you can you can even trade, you can, the counter trend trades or, you know, the trending trades, uh, you know, you can, you can, you can play the smaller ranges uh, or the bigger ranges. We're, we're, we're looking at everything in here. Uh, and, uh, or, you know, the trade back up to liquidity. And then looking for the sellers to rotate in and then the trade back down to high liquidity on the bid on, on the bigger picture yeah sure uh, geo we can go over my iceberg settings um pretty simple uh for the sub chart it's, it's about as simple as it can get i'm just using summation uh i like it i like it a lot um i know that the you can see the axes here they're not aligned with the icebergs and the and the stops okay so you have to know that uh, and uh, I'm fine though because I just look at the reference here. I know that there's some pretty big iceberg buying in here and some selling in here. This is not a reset here, right? And then I also know this is a massive stop run. Uh, and then I can look on chart and look at the numbers. Uh, and um, uh, so, it, so it gives me kind of a reference here. Uh, and this is like cumulative, cumulative volume delta, the way it's set up just buy minus sell streaming kind of over time come on sellers let's see it we got another it's been rotating back and forth and back and forth in here looking for the sellers looking for the drop low lo, lower liquidity here or high liquidity here lower on the on the, around the 73 74 area and then also 70 and also 50 down here Good selling there. Stop run. Okay, liquidity there at 81. And it seems to attract some buyers. So the buyers go for it here. That gives, it, gives us a little bit of insight to the back and forth nature of what's going on right now. Usually you see this kind of liquidity in here. You know, we're looking for it to we're looking for sellers. It started with a they came in and, and buyers wanted it. They went after it. So that gives us an idea of the appetite here. See how they went after it again here. Right? We're looking for the sellers to come in here uh, and drop this. And then we got insight here uh, with this liquidity that came in here. Usually this is what exactly what we're looking for is as, as the push to repel buyers okay instead instead here this is a good example of that um, a high li high liquidity very short term though uh, and typically that short term high liquidity repels uh, price away from it in this case they were attracted to it so this is our context uh, and we start to understand all right well if they can do that they're gonna they, let's see if they can go if they have that uh, uh, um, uh, appetite for it, they're going to go for the higher liquidity here, 85. Okay, maybe they can go, maybe they can even like get a bigger trend starting to go uh, up to 90. Okay, so here, here's again our 
that 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 same thing we're, we're looking at on Friday we're looking for the lower liquidity here selling looks pretty good then we got insight here and we're looking for it you know to, to go back up and, and test some of this some of these areas here because we know buyers are in, buyers are interested we didn't how would you ever know that I mean like I mean we knew that because of this this liquidity in here right and we had to we had to, to shift our views at that point Okay, here's our pivot on this small time frame. Yeah, sellers could be closing positions. It's true. Um, yeah, I mean, whatever it was, it, it um, we don't know. Uh, we just know that they wanted that liquidity, right? And so there's some there's some buying interest in here. You know, we we know that. So, you know, we kind of make a shift and a change here now. It's kind of kind of like the, the winds changed a little bit or, or so. Yeah, so, so you look at the, we're going to get a huge stop run here, just massive. You already see it here. Uh, 268, uh, I'm looking for more stops than that. And let's see if we can get up to 90 here, 90 liquidity. It's really, it's 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 back to this kind of treacherous uh, battle back and forth in here. Now, we also know that, uh, you know, bigger picture, like the sellers are, are in control from this point on, on from the day's activity in here. Uh, and... Uh, uh, you know, and we're still down below these areas here. So, I mean, we're still sell side. Uh, we're just starting to see a lot of buyers come in at the moment. And uh, 90 liquidity is kind of funny area too. I don't know why here uh, out of all of a sudden. I, I would look for them to come up and test 92 and a half. Okay, or maybe, maybe even higher, maybe back to 4,400. But like um, we're still making lower lows and lower highs. That That's, there's no question about that. Okay, higher time frame, we're still doing that. And we're also uh, looking for our uh, European close uh, and see what uh, might shake out after that. Like, you know, really, really choppy activity in here. Uh, and then now after that European close, we can start to look for maybe more pure direction. Okay, stops are uh, mounting a bit more. We have 400, almost 500. Uh, in here that looks pretty good we we're kind of looking for that we, we made it up to this 90 level here and let's see I, I still kind of like this 92 and a half um, so we'll take a look at that also uh, yeah, we can look for that scenario of sellers starting to come in. Um, they're, st they're already starting to a bit. It, total exhaustion up here. Okay, no buyers up here. So where, where's that buying appetite now? Well, do, now do we find sellers interested? Okay, if so, looking for 87 and then back to 85 here. Okay, 87 and a half and then 85. Okay, here's some liquidity on the, on the bid or on the offer. I'm sorry. Uh, and the reaction was some selling. So let's see if we can get a bit more selling in here, right back down to, all, we're almost at 87, looking for 85 though. Right, so again, this is kind of what I was saying, like, you, you know, you can look for these moves and trade back, even just the retest 
you know, to 85. Now, the bigger move, we're, what we're looking for is the move below 85. Okay, but you could already get in here looking for that weakness, trade it back down to 85, take some profits, uh, and uh, and this is just a consideration. It's, it's not a recommendation. It's not financial advice. That um, we can we can uh, look for a move back down here, take some profit, your and just some, uh, and then hold some, because you're in you got a really good position up here, right? And now you'd be stopped out at break even, basically. You know, but you gave it a, a shot here, looking for these sellers to come in and trade it through 85. You know, or, you know, if you're higher time frame, like, and you got involved in here, your stop would be up here somewhere. Uh, and, uh, you know, 94, uh, 93. Uh, and um, uh, you're not you're not too worried about it. Uh, you know, maybe you're just, you're looking for this to work out and you're looking for them to trade through 85. It's just going to take some time. And you active traders could be building a position okay, that uh, maybe you took some off, you moved your stop to break even, or not break even, overall break even uh, on the position. Okay, we've covered that many times. You know, it would be something like this. Let's say you got in here, took some off down there, and we'll make an equal one here. And edit this. Yeah, and your overall stop would be up here, you know. And, and that would be your overall break even uh, on the position. All right, so you gave it a shot, and then let's see, you might get stopped out here at break even, overall break even. All right, now, and, and again, like, you know, you know how, uh, how Scott talks about this here. Uh, uh, he doesn't even care about doing this and managing your trade this way. Uh, he's just like, you know, look, I want to get into this area here. I'm looking for it. And then he uses ATR. Uh, and then he'll place his stop up, you know, away from some of these swings. And that's that. And he just lets the position run. Okay. Quoting, quoting Scott, it's always about it does not, the market does not care about your stop. Um so uh, uh, place it into the area where, you know, it shouldn't go, basically. All right, let's look at a little bit of counter trend here and see what's happening here. Oh, I love, I love seeing, I love seeing if the buyers come in, come in here and they can't move it, right? It looks like they're actually, are, they're going to be able to move it here. So I think, I think they're going to try to get about back up in a 94 here. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. So back up. Okay. So we made it, that was a quick move. Um, so yeah, you would have been stopped out at break even here overall, but you gave it a shot. Uh, and uh, in here, what I was what I was about to cover was like this buying in here. This is these can be such nice uh, moves, in the in the the order flow read. Buyers here, and you know, and then uh, they can't make a higher high. Uh, they can't even make an equal high to some of these um, uh, areas over here. Uh, and then you get less buying, and then you you see them buying like down at some of these areas here, and then like maybe you get a little little. A little bit of selling then a retest and you get buying at a lower high and they're just trying they just can't make it though and oh you can we we can see some really nice moves after that uh, to the downside all right so let's see here we're kind of back down now looking for the break again once again here looking for sellers now and let's see the move move it down to what we we're looking for uh, like previously this 85 level so looking for them again here okay there's a bit of exhaustion let's see if we get sellers again here okay at around 89 and a half nope 
Buyers still still streaming higher here. Still streaming higher. Yeah, I was looking for this break of this trend line here. And it, you know, it, the trend line's good. I mean, we is we have a diagonal here, but we also have this area here, right here, where buyers bumped out above this this uh, swing here, the swing high. And then sellers down below it here. So looking for them to try to push it through. Yeah, and, and again, this is that trade back down to here and this trend line. You know, you, you see that exhaustion or the equal high, you see less buying in here, looking for the sellers to come in, at least test it down to here, right? And then try to hold it for a longer longer term position. And you got such a good entry Right, and then you would you would be taking your profit here, some of it. It would be a quick scalp from like this kind of 94 down to about 92, right? Something like that. Again, these are just trade management considerations. It's not it's not financial advice. Just. You know, trying trying to help and 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 uh, look for many many different ways to to kind of uh, you know help 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 your trading uh, considerations in here. All right here here comes our bigger move. Looking for the bigger move to unfold now. We're down below here. Sellers are in control. Looking for 85. Looking for 80. Looking for lows of the day or cash session here at least down to 75 now. Okay, they broke this area here, uh, and then trying looking for this these sellers to try to, to take control here. Okay, there's eighty five. Ignition algos, yeah, sure, sure, David. Um, the S and P, you don't, you don't. I mean, you see them. Um, you see, you see them more on on kind of thinner markets. Uh, they they really stand out better. Uh, but the 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 goal of the uh, and and it it's a dis it's a prohibit prohibited practice. Um, you know, you're not. Uh, you know, you, you, yeah, you can be punished for it. Uh, you can be uh, found, um, uh, you know, guilty of, uh, you know, trying to uh, manipulate the markets. Uh, so the, um, let's see if we see anything that kind of resembles it here so far. Nothing. Guys, here we go. Here's our move. Okay, look, there's our 85. Okay, and now looking for that that continuation here. Now, see see how if you got in up here looking for that move just down to this area here, you're you're sitting so pretty, right? You you, you got in, you got out here just a little bit. You you've moved your stop to break even overall, maybe. Um, let's just go through this scenario here. You know, in this one, you you know, obviously it, we know how it kind of worked out. Right, but here's where you got in and you got out. Basically, something like this: 94 down to uh, here, 91. So three points, right? Uh, and then here, uh, you could have your stop at break even, so pure, purely break even, or you know you can move your stop back up here, which would be the overall break even, right? Up at here at 97, uh, and then you're sitting pretty. You know you're looking for that move to 85. Uh, we got it. Uh, and then it's up to you. Like um, at this point here, you might as well hold for the longer period, uh, you know, or if that's not what you do, uh, you know, and you're, you already see the break of, of back up above 85, then you'd, you'd be out, right? Uh, you know, th this is where though you can kind of manage, get that smaller trade, uh, but then look for the bigger move. Okay, going, going with the trend. 
So in essence, it's kind of like a, a small, like a, a range bound trade from the outside in, and then you're looking for holding from the inside to the out, right? Something like that, if that makes sense. Uh, let's take a look at your image, David. Yeah, yeah, this, uh, is that ignition? It's, it's hard to see um, in here. Uh, you know, that, um, let me show it here. Is this this is what you're talking about down here? I imagine, right? Um, so pulled, added higher, very, very, very quickly. Uh, it's hard to see what happened here at that point, though. Um, so uh, you know, maybe it was. Uh, let's try something here. At least I can get an edge into it. Whoops, didn't want to do that. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go. I still have. We still haven't looked at that higher time frame yet. Um, okay, here we go. All right. So here. No, it's it's hard to say, uh, David. Like, you, this is the kind of behavior you're looking for. But you, you're looking for it to be very, very aggressive. Um, to try to skew the order book here uh, and then trying to, you know, drive price maybe back up into their uh, uh, orders uh, here on the offer, right? But this is pretty far away from current price. So, you know, I don't, I don't know what this really is here. And I don't know if they finally pulled and then right went right up into this area here. It's kind of, it's kind of hard to read. They could, they could have, you know, this could be them in here, but... Hard to say. Okay, so you, you guys can see that the trade management here, we, we've been talking about the move to 85, and then if you're still in it or at break even, even if you went to the break even around in here, 94, you're still sitting pretty. You know, and you're, and here's our, here's another kind of, I don't know if I should refer to under, over, or pivot, but like here it is, um, you know, right, right in here again, same idea, above it, sellers below it, boom, looking for the trend continuation. Looking for eighty and below. Okay, there's. 80 or it's just just about to trade 80 they should hit it they should be able to hit 80 I mean, we, we've been saying that though and they just pull away from it um but yeah come on you know the liquidity's here guys <laughs> look at this look at the gaming it just cracks me up does this guy want to trade <laughs> no <laughs> and and the and the buyers are trying to take him on too they're trying to deal with him okay here we go sellers let's see if we can push it now bigger move is 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 like we said it's still sell side here okay due to our structure okay due to our higher time frame structure Okay. This was a mess until we finally got, we see this move outside and then this retest, this was just like Friday. Um, the, the retest back up here where they dropped it and they couldn't get back up higher. Looking for the sellers to try to take control here and, and move this lower. All right, so that said, let me, um, let me, uh, also get to the um, higher time frame here we, we we didn't do it we usually do that um, that review uh, and uh, and try to figure out uh, our, our higher time frame levels this was the level that we put in uh, last week and uh, f on Friday it blazed through it uh, all the way back down to this swing low here right I, I was you know, looking for them just to try to go maybe below this swing low here, which was, uh, this was back on, uh, uh, what, 10 a.m. Uh, 
on the hourly chart. I don't know what day that is. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So looking for it to buy, maybe just go just below that and looking for buyers to come back in. We blaze through it. This is going to be become the, the, the retest area back up into here, back up into uh, this kind of 44, uh, 40, uh, and then even 50 up here, right? Uh, if we get enough buyers, you know, maybe something happens like with the Fed or uh, kind of uh, geopolitical tensions that are happening right now in Europe. Uh, you know, maybe that's uh, alleviated. We'll come flying right back up into some of these areas here. No, no problem. Probably back up to here. Um, but um, uh, anyway, you can see that uh, kind of struggling to go a little bit lower right now uh, on this uh, hourly chart in here. Okay, the daily chart here, there are wicks down here. So, you know, that uh, actually looked pretty nice. This was our swing here that we're just looking at on the hourly. And it went below it and we retested this swing down here. And we're still down here. Uh, 15 minute chart, look at the wicks. We're heading down, but look at the wicks in here. It's just back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Uh, end of the day here also looked uh, like really back and forth after after looking for that bigger move and the, it unfolded really nicely here. Um, here was here was the back and forth we were looking at. Yeah, let's go over that. That that was uh, this was great. Um, really really enjoyed this. Uh, uh, this was the back and forth and the back and forth in here. And then it was this candle in here. I remember it uh, around 11:15. This was this little one right here. Let me let me make this bigger here. Eleven fifteen, yeah. Here it is, right here, right. So we're it was you know, all these wicks, all this back and forth, like you know, getting one traders on one side, stopping them out on the other, etc. And then we had one move down, and then the retest back up here. And it's like it, this is telling us something, right? So we're looking for now the continuation. This this here, this little candle here, this fifteen minute candle. Um, and uh, and then look at the time as well. We talked about that on Friday, 11.15, European close. Looking for all of that chop to kind of looking for a more pure direction. Now, it it, 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 it went lower and then it chopped again. But, you know, it, it just, you know, once we see these these uh, other candles back down in these areas, we're looking for the follow through. OK, and the, and the drop back down into some of these other previous swings. Uh, and that's what it did. Uh, it just went even further um, than uh, uh, this level in here. So, so anyway, it was this candle in here, right? So that's what is I'm saying is is really similar to this in here. Okay. So what what time is this? This is at uh, about 10:15. Okay. So let's take a look here on our candle, 10:15. It's right here. See, look at the huge wicks, both, both sides here. It'll probably look better on a five minute. Um, so let's try that. Yeah. So here's our 1015 candle. So, so here it is, like back and forth, back and forth. Okay. Swing low, retest, back up into where it dropped from, and this is bearish. Okay, so this is really very similar to what we're looking at uh, on on Friday, right? So that's why we're we're still looking for this to go lower, even though it's been back and forth in here during this session. Okay, now we we got to we have to be open though. Like that's one of the huge things here with with order flow, uh, is uh, not to have that bias and and kind of ego attached to it. It's like wow, okay, well if if we start to get buyers back up into this area in here. Okay, up here around this kind of uh, 43.95 area, because this is where they sold, right? If we get strong, a strong candle here and a strong move up to this area here, we're looking for it to come back up to uh, 4,400, maybe even up higher. Okay, 07. Okay, some of these swings in here. So we're looking at the order flow 
uh, and these areas in here uh, to be tested potentially okay based on the order flow we're just all we're getting here from this candlestick chart is kind of st some structure and ranges so you can see they this candle just closed here uh, and it, it made a lower high here yet again and now you know we we'll, we'll see though uh, if um, this is what I just I can't stand about candles it's like I don't really care what this candle says right now uh, I need to see the follow-through so what does the order flow say so let's jump into book map here all right so let's see if we can get sellers down below 85 same idea here we've been looking at All right. Do you guys have any questions on that? Uh, and let me get. Let me bring up the questions here. Hold on. Okay, David. Yeah, you got some more images in here. Nice. All right, sellers. Let's see it. 40, 4380 and then continuation here and and I want to see a big stop run underneath here I want to see a really big one let's read this in here there's your ignition algo David right there there it is good one okay now did he did he trade yeah yeah he, he looks like he traded right uh, he's getting filled in here so uh, he's pulling too so he, he some of it's getting filled and some of it's pulling here so you, you know this is this is how you know these guys can get away with it uh, here's 90 in the order book here right we don't know the overall size of this uh, ignition algo in here but uh, here it is uh, we don't know the overall size, but we know they're pulling, right? But from here on up, like, and then from here on up, and then in here it went from yellow to, I mean, you see orange to kind of white, a little bit more yellow, so they're adding a little bit more, and then they start pulling, and then they get some transactions, okay? So now, is this guy on the hook legally? No. He traded. He can move as many orders as he wants, you know, however he wants. Uh, you just can't spoof it uh, and try to get you know skew the order book to try to get 87 filled up here right and then you know SEC FTA CFTC whatever it is they'll have to look at it and and say like okay was this guy the same as this guy up here or is there some sort of relationship then then it's you know it's not good um, then then that's deceptive and, and look at this just wicked stuff uh, this one, if that was their game, it was highly successful. Still, still looking for sellers though. I'm trying to trying to hit 80, 80 again. They already hit eighty once. Looking for them to hit it again. And let's see if we can get through it. Now, let's just zoom out here because we, we got to go through that opposite scenario. Let's look at the dots. Let's look at the, uh, here, let me just take the heat map down. And let me take my drawings off here uh, so, uh, so we can get a little more clarity in here. All right. So let's look at the dots. Let's look at the structure. Let's look at the bars as well. Uh, and uh, kind of overall here, you know, where, where do we see... You know, we, we, we know from the, the dots and the structure, this is where the sellers came in. This is the retest back up here. This is where sellers came in and took control. This was that 1015 candle we were just looking at. Okay, and this is the reaction here. This is why we had our kind of uh, uh, primary scenario as a move to the downside. And they even retested back up here, but this is as far as they got. Okay, now here... This is this is beautiful here. Here's our buying, not so much buying. Here's buying, 
this it, this is just going to be a disaster for these buyers here right so now we're looking for the sellers to really push this here right below here You know, the buyers just, they, now who knows? I mean, they, maybe they come in and they, we've seen it many times and they come right back up to 90 and then they come in with big size and they'll move it right back up to this uh, 4,400, right? But the, the concept is this in the order flow, buying, lower high, buying, lower high, buying, can't do it. And then the sellers will get in here and then we see nice move to the downside. Right. If they can't make a higher high here, like they're just in trouble. And watch these sellers come in and just just hand them hand them their head. Anyway, that would be the primary scenario yet again. All right, and then looking for them to try to push it through here. Okay, does that make sense to you guys? Can I understand some of the order flow? Like if they can't make, and now we, we never know. But, you know, if they just can't seem to do it, well, where are they going to find the support? Where are the buyers in here? And we just don't see them right now. So we're going to go with sellers sticking it to these guys. Uh, and get get the move lower here. Oh, one one thing, uh, uh, David, I, I do want to point you toward this. Um, I think this is one of the. It's just I find it amazing to be honest. Um, uh, just do a quick Google search for Rule Five Seven Five, and then read the PDF here. I'll put the link into the chat, uh, and then and then here, just uh, uh, what 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 you can do here is uh, uh, look at uh, uh, disruptive practices in here. So, for example, do a search in here in the PDF. So, search or Control F here, find, and then let's let's do ignition, All right? And then they'll they're going to define it for you. All right, so this is pretty objective stuff. Uh, we're not making it up at all. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's uh, you can read through here, igni momentum ignition strategy, in quotes. That's, that's what it's called. Uh, uh, occurs when a market participant initiates a series of orders or trades in an attempt to ignite a price movement in that direction or related market. In that market or related market, right? So uh, that's what we were just talking about. And there's more. There's more there to, to read. Like uh, it, I, I love this document. It, so now, now what you need to do is all you need to do is like read through this, uh, and then put it together with um, uh, uh, the order flow in Bookmap. What does what does that mean, and what does it look like in Bookmap? Uh, spoofing and layering, flipping. We have a, a nice video on the flipping. Um, so, um, uh, you know, etc. All right. So now, what happened here? Okay, we were looking for you know lower highs, um, buying on some of those highs, but they just couldn't do it. Right? Uh, they're gonna they're giving it one more shot here, and they they have they have a, a chance here to try to reach back up to ninety and, and ninety three here, so because they're back up above here. Right, they didn't get down to 80. They never even traded it. The sellers never came in and put it to them. Uh, they just they were able to bring it down to uh, um, uh, 80 and a half or 80 and, and a quarter. Oh, thanks, Doug. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's it's great. I mean, I love it when the CME will do something like that. Uh, and it's like, okay, well, yeah, sure. Here's the definition. Uh, now, uh, let's just. What does it look like in Bookmap? Oh, here we go. <laughs> One more move. One more move. Okay, sellers, they, now they got all these buyers on the hook here now too. So they can really stick it to them now. Like we should just see a beautiful stop run here down to uh, our um, 
uh, uh, 74 le level down here. I mean, it, it should be just beautiful here. And look at that. It's even a lower high here. Even though that they got kind of above this little area here, 83 or so, it's still a lower high, and they're still buying there. And they're still buying in here. Okay, at, at the low, at the low, though, Okay. I mean, we got to be careful. I mean, if we get back up here, our, our mind will change. And it's like, okay, the buyers are actually the ones who are going to take control. But right now, we're still sell side here. And not until we see this other event unfold. And there's a lot of buying in here. And they, it's just, they can just get annihilated here. Okay. Other scenario. Okay, so here the buyer is coming. They're gonna they're gonna try to lift it. Okay, this is our our European close coming up too, guys. So be on the be on the lookout here. All right, so buyer is gonna try to lift it back up to the, the swing, and maybe maybe even ninety here, maybe. Yeah, looks like they're going to go for it. Okay, so our primary scenario uh, is not working out. We're looking for buyers now to lift it. They are starting to take control. Okay, they're back up in these areas here. All right. So that's our secondary, uh, and, and it's starting to work out. So looking for 90. Uh, and uh, let's see if they can get up a little bit higher now too. They need higher time frame. So here, again, this is the, the same uh, consideration here. Um, uh, is okay once we start to see that change uh, and you start to see those buyers come back in we're looking for the move to 90 and that would be your small trade uh, and then you can look for your bigger trade is is above 90 okay and even even above 95 here but now we're kind of looking for 95 uh, and then we're looking for 4400 okay on these buy on the buy side here okay and now this should be a nice move too Okay, one way or the other, it's going to be a nice move. It should be. Okay, so looking for 95, and this is strong buying, okay, and no stop run yet either. So this is strong buying, right? Guys, one thing, we, we haven't done this in a while, but I just, I love it. Like looking at the correlated markets. You know, what does it look like there? Uh, are, are they kind of behaving here? Because like once you get all ships turning around at the same time, it's hard to stop that momentum. It really is. So like we're looking for that too. I don't have the Russell up right now, um, but uh, NASDAQ is up here and we're getting not too much clarity on the NASDAQ right now. It's just up here. Um, this is way more bullish than the S&P though, as you guys can see. Okay, it's it's starting to make it was even making higher lows in here right so if we're going to be following the nasdaq well then we're looking for the nasdaq to trade up in this uh, uh 37 and uh or i'm sorry 337 and 350 area right right now and we should see a really big stop run here as well to the upside okay so let's let's check out our s p how is that working out little bit of a pause but I'm looking for it I'm looking for 4400 now we're almost at 95 okay so we, we had to change we had to change our, our outlook it was due to the order flow I know that's kind of tough to swallow but that's just this is what happened right and then the order flow looks pretty clear now is it's much clearer Okay. Does that make sense to you guys? Do you, do you under, I mean, can you, it's a hard, it, you know, to switch mentally like that, but the order flow tells us, right? When we have something a little bit higher probability, the order flow, like that's what we're looking for. On some of these other things, like we're going through the scenario looking for it to unfold. Uh, and we're looking for those, like all this buying in here is like, oh boy, you guys are going to get just annihilated. Uh, and then, we don't even get down to 80. They didn't even trade to 80. Uh, and then and then we're like, well, we're still looking for it. We're still sell side. And then we saw this starting to unfold. And it's like in here, 
And it's like, wow, they can get back up here. They're going to go for 90. They can get up to 90. We're looking for 95. They can get up to 95. We're looking for 4,400. And there's strong buying in here. And we don't see the stop run yet. Right? We just see one, 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 one stop run here, 72, just 72 so far. Okay, so we had to kind of, um, we had to shift. Sellers should have moved the market. I, I, I agree. And, and your CVD, yeah, this is why I, I really, I'm, I'm not a big CVD fan, uh, I have to, have to admit. Um, uh, it's not, I, I, I like it. It's not that bad, but like, I just, as long as you, as, if, if, put it this way, as long as I, first off, I have to know my indicators. What are they showing me? Uh, and it's just buy minus sell. It's a really simple indicator. Um, and buy minus sell plotted. Uh, so, and then you can understand absorption really, really easily as well. Like here, you know, here we can just show a really, um, good example of absorption uh, here, right? Beautiful example. Now look at look at price. Here's your divergence, right? These are really easy examples to go through. Uh, but uh, here's your divergence. You know, look at all this buying in here. Price is still at the same level, right? Look at CVD climbing, and climbing, and climbing, and climbing, right? So this is something's wrong here. Well, what is it? Well, they're absorbing on the other side, uh, and um, and that's that's you know where you can you know start to piece together your divergence uh and uh you know then uh cvd you're, you're looking at uh, uh again like this kind of reference in here of cvd is very very blunt and, and simple uh, but understanding the context of the structure uh, and the order flow within that structure is what we want Yeah, so you, what you were looking at, it was like here we are making kind of, you know, lower lower areas in here, but higher on CVD. Right? And we know that. We know that, that this is actually, it actually, the divergence actually worked out pretty nicely here for you, uh, uh, Luis. Uh, because, uh, you know, there's more buying in here, right? And we knew that. We knew that, though. We knew that. We were just anticipating a big stop run due to the structure. So more buying. But lower high, more buying, lower high, more buying, lower high, significantly lower high here uh, in this small example. Uh, and um, uh, yet we're going lower, right? So we're just looking for them to get squeezed uh, to the downside, right? And then we see this buying in here, yet it could, it could still be even, you know, even better if we can get down below it. But this is where we're like, huh? Wait a minute. Can't even trade 80 buyers are back up in here to this cluster here and above it great okay now we're looking for them to trade it up to 90 and then we said 95 and then we said 4400 and now 4400 is just about to trade 44 yeah 100 okay and our 95 level here that's already transacted now we're looking for 4400 So anyway, and and we're looking for these stop runs too, and we're getting them. 126 and 77. And trade it. Come on, this guy's been very patient with his 147 icebergs there. He wants to get filled at 4,400. He's been in there. Well, he's been in there since here, just after 10:30. All right. So European close just coming up. I'm going to I'm going to uh, 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 we're not going to see any follow through. Uh, we're going to just uh, come up to the European close and then uh, I'm going to cut out here uh, and then uh, look for Tom B in the in the traders lab. Uh, and guys, look for your your trending move um, after. You know, see, see if you can get a trending move. 
Um, it, it, I, I don't know if, you know, we're going to get it uh, or not today. I mean, the geopolitical stuff is, is pretty big right now. Uh, it's either or. So I, I don't know if the market, how the market's going to kind of respond to it unless we start to hear some chatter uh, in the news. Uh, setting in the iceberg is sum on sum, S-U-M. Okay, very, it's just like CVD, uh, basically. Uh, let's take one one more look at kind of higher time frame stuff here. So, you know, trending down, looking to, looking for the continuation and the move lower here, and then everything kind of got shifted here, and then we're looking for 4,400, um, 90, 95, and then 4,400, uh, just shy of it. Or did it? Did it trade? No. Three contracts up at at 99 and three quarters. That's it. Just these three guys up here. Or three contracts. Ah, uh, okay. Emergency FOMC meeting. Really? At eleven thirty? Okay. Thanks, Doug. Yeah, guys, that's gonna that that'll that'll be a market mover. Uh, we should it, we should see some liquidity pulled then. Um, you know, it should start. We sh likely start drying up in here because there, there's going to be some some volatility in here. <laughs> Limit down if they raise rates. Okay, guys, here they're they're starting to trade into that forty four hundred, and that iceberg's already kicking off here. You can see. I'm interested to see how big this guy is. There we go. He's he's getting filled six oh five. Six twenty one. He's still in there. And there's two of them in there. At the same at the at the same price level, no. Now they're at different levels. You can see nine and then six twelve above it. Okay. Six have traded on that six twelve, and then three have traded on that nine. Three orders, right? We're giving you all the information here. There was our move, guys. All right. So there it is. And now, oh, and this guy pulled. Look at this. <laughs> okay. Now he's getting filled a little bit more. He pulled. He pulled and, and moved higher. A little flip of the book here, too. From offer to bid, stop run. Okay. More icebergs. So there, he's over a thousand, and he's still he's still getting filled here. So this is a big iceberg, pretty big, and he pulled, and he's higher. Interesting stuff. All right, guys, let's take a look bigger, higher, higher time frame here, uh, and um, uh, strong buying, strong buying. So look look for the next swing, that 07 that we were talking about, right? Uh, and then you could be looking for kind of highs of the uh, of the day here, uh, at least the cash session up at around here, 15 or 20. It's a coin flip, yeah. Yeah, what, what, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I, I mean, there's just, I think a lot of it's going to be order flow, too, to be honest right now, uh, David. That's kind of my opinion. Um, you know, where, where, where are the, where's the pain, uh, in the market? And right now, you can see, like, we're, looking and looking and looking sell side sell side everything looking pretty good and then everything got upended down here right can you guys see that is it pretty clear can you can you 
can you see like where they came in and what we were looking at in here and why we were sell side and then we switched and flipped to, to buy side? And then we're just looking for some of these areas to trade. And then if it can still like trade, it's going to go to some of these other areas higher and then trade. Okay, here's our stop run. Icebergs on the other side too. Yeah, sounds good, uh, David. You're going to put some options on. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. One more look at the candlestick chart here. Okay, so here's our candlestick chart. Uh, and we're, this is the five minute now. Uh, here, look at even the hourly in here. Um, oh, God. Hourly bars and... Um, number of bars well it's a pretty strong move on the hourly though that's that's what i wanted to look at here um and why can't i do that okay here we go hmm Okay, whatever. I, I'm not getting, it's not looking quite right, but you can see it here on the five minute though, like pretty strong move here, right? That's what we were just looking at. Okay, we saw it down here uh, around uh, when, yeah, around 87 or so, 87.50, something like that. And then uh, here, okay, around 87.50 or, yeah, this, this little swing here. Uh, strong move okay so looking forward to go higher looking for these wicks here we're above them uh, and then we're looking for this we, were, we we talked about these wicks here and we talked about this wick here uh, this is that 1015 candle right so they're coming up to test that uh, area up there okay, and if they can even get higher back up into some of the swings from the from the day here okay that's 15 and then 20 uh, on book map so 15 is here uh, and then 20s up here, and then you can see a lot, lot of liquidity up here at 25. It's been in the book for a while uh, as well. All right, well let's we'll wrap it up, guys. We'll call it a day now. Uh, you know, look for like a, a well. We we got some news, and 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 we got you know some some geopolitical stuff that we don't know when that's going to happen. Uh, but, uh, you know, our European close has unfolded. We saw a really choppy market during that time. So now we're looking to see if we can get someone to take control and, and, and go in, in a more pure direction. Um, we've seen that play out many times the last few months. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's see uh, uh, what happens and we'll, we'll go revisit it tomorrow. Okay. Thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow and look for uh, Tom B to be streaming here pretty soon. All right. So he's usually coming in around noon or so. But uh, uh, look, look for the streaming. All right. Thanks, guys.